Hey, welcome to Activate Thursday. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. My name is Jesse Allen, the Senior Vice President of Product Marketing here at Life Vantage. We have a wonderful episode for you tonight. It's with myself and Lisa Barnes. We're going to be talking all about the Rise AM and Reset PM system our approach to multivitamin and, and multimineral or a micronutrient solution that we launched earlier this year in January. In the conversation tonight, what you're gonna hear is we're gonna talk about why our normal diet, what we consume, is deficient in some of the micronutrients that we need. Uh, we'll talk the reason why that happens and, and what we can do to overcome that, but really the cause of that and the repercussions of what that means for us uh, and our, our own internal health. We're also going to talk and make a connection between micronutrients and activation. As the activation company, we want to make sure that it's perfectly clear that we're always supporting our primary initiative of activating the body's natural systems. You'll also hear us talk about a little bit about the traditional approach to multinutrients of a one pill once a day and why that's a flawed approach and why we believe that we have a more intelligent and a better solution to taking your multivitamins. Then we're gonna dive into what time-wise nutrient delivery is all about, what that means, and how it is a, a revolutionary approach where we separate mic micronutrients from the morning and the evening, and how those micronutrients align with your natural circadian rhythm. And finally, we'll provide some, some uh, validation where we have actually tested our micronutrients both on their own as well as with some of our key activating products and how they amplify the performance of those products. So it's a wonderful conversation. There's a lot to be uh, gained from it. So pay attention, be engaged. If you have questions, put them in the chat as we're talking or, or comment on them and we will make sure that we circle back and answer all of your questions. Uh, thanks again for joining us and enjoy the conversation. All right, you guys, welcome to Activate Thursday. We're so uh, just, we're grateful that you're here. We appreciate you being here. We're in the studio again. Yes. Love it. Um, uh, and we're going to be in the studio for the foreseeable future. So hopefully we're not bouncing back to Zoom and, and, and the bad camera and bad audio. And we're like, we're actually professional now. Um, Jesse Allen, um, I'm the Senior Vice President of Product Marketing here at Life Vantage, and Lisa Barnes, VP of Research and Development. So glad to join you guys once again and get to chat about our amazing products. Yeah, we've got we've got a great um, uh, conversation today. We're going to talk all about the Rise AM and Reset PM system. Yes, right, a multi-nutrient system that we launched earlier this year in January. Yes. Um, uh, it feels like forever ago, but it was actually just back in January. <laughs> Shows how busy our day to day is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, anyways, we're going to spend time talking about that. A couple of things, not not necessarily housekeeping, but just a couple of things to 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 remind you of. Um, one, if you're here as a visitor, you've been invited to watch this. Thank you for joining us. We're glad you're here, glad you're listening, and for everybody that's watching, we invite you to be engaged as always. Like, uh, comment in the chat. Um, we circle back and we answer all of your questions and we enjoy doing it and it also helps us recognize like what hits and what mm -hmm. makes sense and what resonates we with love you. reading the comments because yeah. then like you said we know what phrasing or what imagery makes sense in your mind what explanations so that we can make sure we use them in other yep. assets yep yep so you're helping us shape good marketing campaign yeah so so be engaged ask questions um also if if you are here watching this content um and are not um not already affiliated with life vantage somebody has invited you to watch this perhaps um what we're talking about tonight is the rise am and reset pm system it is a multi multi-nutrient system that we launched back in January, as I mentioned a minute ago. But there's actually a way right now, if you're watching this uh, in August or September, there's actually a way to get it for free. So talk to whoever um, invited you to watch this, and they can explain all the details behind that. Uh, something that you would definitely want to take advantage of, especially after you learn uh, more about what we're talking about. Um, the other thing that I wanted to remind everybody of is that this right now is in Facebook. You're, watch you're here on Facebook, and you're watching this. We've started to take all of this content after we record it and we actually publish it to YouTube. Uh, we've made it really simple to, to find in YouTube and to engage with there as well. If you were to go to YouTube, up in the search bar, just type in Life Vantage. That will pull up our channel. And you, you should su subscribe to our channel, yeah. so then you get all the notifications. Yeah, you can subscribe to it. Click on the icon. 
The icon will then pull up the Life Vantage channel and there is a horizontal menu bar um, about the, a third of the way down the, down the page. It's right under the icon and there's a number of different menus. One of them says playlist. If you click on playlist, it will then bring up all the playlists where we have cataloged or categorized like content into different playlists and there is one that is t titled Activate Thursday. Simply click on that and then you can see a lot of our historical recordings of, of what we do with Activate Thursday. Yes. Yeah. So uh, that's, that's that. Enough of that. Let's get into the topic. Right? Okay. We're talking Rise AM and Reset PM. Um, but let's talk, before we like dive into the products themselves, let's talk a little bit about why a multivitamin is even important or necessary. Yeah, and I think it starts with the fact that the majority of people everyday people do not follow healthy eating patterns. They eat energy rich, but nutrient poor diets. Yeah. And we see that through multiple studies, multiple surveys, the Linus Pauling Institute, which is one of the leaders who we actually partnered with on, the for on this formula. So just a little bit of jumping ahead. They talk about it on their website as well. Everybody or well, the majority of people are not getting the nutrients that they should. So it's not really a question of, are you deficient in something? It's what, what, are, you what are you deficient in? in? Because you're not being able to get everything that you need from your diets, no matter how hard you're trying. Yeah. And maybe, maybe just break this down. And this is maybe my wife is a nutritionist and maybe this is a bit of her coming out. Um, like nutrition sometimes can be overly complicated when we look at product labels and we look at just like labels in general at the at the store and and there's a lot right there's a lot of information there there's always calories that are included when we think macro right we're thinking protein fat carbohydrates exactly micro micronutrients the small ones vitamins and minerals right yes um and and that's really what we're talking about and it's easy in today's society, and I think it's because we associate food, there's that correlation between food and calories, or food and protein, and it's so easy to get hung up on the macro piece of how and many calories am micro. I consuming, how much protein am I getting into my diet, uh, am, I, am I avoiding fat, or am I avoiding carbs, because for whatever reason, we're all scared about carbs in today's society. Yes. Thank you, Dr. Atkins. Um, and but, me but some flashbacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But sometimes we we neglect or forget about the micro piece, which quite honestly, at the end of the day, are probably more important. It's all important. Exactly. But they're incredibly important it, to every cellular function yes. that you have, and we're going to get into that more. Yeah. Well, let's let's talk about it. Let's yeah. do it. Um, so, micronutrients, vitamins, minerals. Right. Talk about. Well, you mentioned it's not a question of if we're deficient, but but when and with what. What are we not? And it's and that's really that is um, that's just an issue because of the current food, the, like exactly. the, the way we eat, right? And our diet, the way food is processed, the way it's the way it's manufactured. What happens? Yeah, the maybe, soil maybe, that it's grown in okay. doesn't have it doesn't impart as many nutrients into our produce as uh -huh. it used to. Yep. So even when we think that we're making these healthy choices, as far as the produce we're getting, we're not getting the diversity of nutrients that may have been available in the past. And to be honest, there's more things that feed into it as well. I mean, a lot of really nutrient rich produce can be really expensive. Hmm. or it may not be very fresh based on where you live. There's a lot of factors that really weigh into your diet and yeah. these micronutrients that you're getting yeah. on a daily basis. I remember um, maybe a, just a shout out to, to Dr. Dondi Nettles, who, who you see on, on Activate Thursday quite a bit. He and I were talking about AMPM on an Activate Thursday yeah. quite a bit of time ago, probably in January when we did this, but he really has a, a solid understanding of just the food industry and, mm -hmm. and, and how food is manufactured today, how it's farmed, and how depleted the fields are um, because of lack Very of much so. crop rotation, lack of the right nutrients in those, right? Because everything Cost is trying too. to, yeah, and everything like, like just like every, every other industry, they've, they've moved towards this efficiency and not necessarily towards quality sometimes. Yes. It's interesting. There's a and, lot of give and take that happens. Yeah, and I, and I don't want like, to belabor all of this, but yeah. it's really interesting. Um, it is something, it's not, it's not unique to the United States, but it's definitely an issue we have here. Very much like so. Like when we travel overseas or spend time in other countries, 
I don't feel like we have the same issue that we have so much here in the U.S. So it's definitely, I mean, it is like nutrient deficiency is global. Um, yes. But even for those that are eating regular, that have the, the, the means to eat, you know, three square meals a day and all of that, regardless of all of that, still deficient in basic nutrients because yes. of our food source. Exactly, the quality of it. Yeah. Well, so let's, let's talk about that. The, the natural consequences that come out mm. of a diet that is deficient in micronutrients. What, what does that look like? What does it look like? Yeah, and it's going to show itself in lots of different ways, but some of the most common things you may see is fatigue and lack mm -hmm. of energy Yeah. because if your processes are not working as efficiently, once again, we're going to dive into that, you're going to be have less energy, more fatigue. Mm -hmm. Also, if you think a lot of what you see externally, so your skin, your hair, your nails, a lot of those are affected first and you start seeing either a loss of hair or brittleness to nails or just an impact to your skin. It tends to be one of the, those organs that you see it first. Yeah, and that would be, I think there are specific nutrients that would lend towards that, that right, the brittle hair and brittle nails and sallow skin and all exactly. of that. For example, um, any like skin specifically collagen, you're going to need vitamin C to help with the structuring of your collagen. If you don't have enough vitamin C, yeah. it's going to not cause the protein not to be folded correctly, so you're not gonna get efficient collagen production. Then as a result, your skin is not going to have that firm structure that it needs to be healthy and look young and vibrant. Yeah, um, and, I, and I guess the, the, end, the end lesson or the, the, the larger lesson to learn from all of this and this is a point sometimes, right, especially for, for, for our audience and those that are listening, like we tout ourselves as the activation company, um, which is what we are, right? We are the activation company we and we're talking it's our about- our point of difference. Yeah, we're talking about activating cellular processes and, and activating those specific systems in the body to optimize them. And sometimes it's hard to connect the dots of, okay, if we're the activation company, how then do, does it like a multivitamin fit into the mix? Like sometimes, sometimes those dots aren't as obvious as they should yeah. be. Why um, do you need that micronutrient base, that solid base? Yeah, yeah. And so I don't, I don't necessarily want to dive into every single nutrient. Yeah. But th this is, we were talking about this the other day, and, and I wanted to pull this up because it was just a, a simple, it was just a basic Google search. Of, of why is magnesium important, yeah. right? Um, actually, I think my question was, how many cellular functions rely on magnesium? Yeah. And it was spurred by a podcast that I was listening to, but, it, but this, is, this is the immediate response, um, and this can be found in, actually in PubMed. Magnesium is involved in practically every major metabolic and biochemical process within the cell and is responsible for numerous functions in the body, including bone development, neuromuscular function, signaling pathways, that should sound familiar, signaling pathways, energy storage and transfer, glucose, lipid mm -hmm. and protein metabolism, DNA and RNA stability, and on and on and on and on. Yeah, some of the numbers we've seen is, is more than 600 enzyme systems that rely on magnesium as yeah. a cofactor. So essentially a helper molecule that drives the reaction. So more than 600. Yeah, and the end lesson is cellular function requires... Micronutrients. Micronutrients. Exactly. Cellular yeah. function, cellular communication, yeah. all relies on that. And then... Proper activation relies on proper, proper cellular function and communication. Wait, okay. One more time. Say yes. that again. So what we tend to say is that micronutrients are needed for proper cellular communication and mm -hmm. function. Mm -hmm. And proper cellular communication and function is needed for activation. It's needed for activation. Therefore, for activation to occur... A solid micronutrient base is needed and is a necessary. diverse yeah. micronutrient base. I yeah. think that's key as well. That's it. Okay, talk about that. That's an interesting, what, what do you, when you say diverse, what does that mean to you? So that would be multiple minerals and vitamins, not just focusing, because we just talked about magnesium. Yep. This is not just about going out magnesium and getting a mag vitamin C. Yeah, okay. it's not just about going out and getting those two mm -hmm. and just taking them. Yeah. I mean, there's always a place for individual supplementation if you are very deficient in something specifically and you've partnered with your physician on that. Yep. However, 
what you really need to do is look at a diversity of them. So multiple ones. So let, let's say zinc, vitamin C, magnesium, vitamin A, B, vitamin D. Mm -hmm. All of them are different helpers in different reactions in your cells. And so you need a good balance of all of them okay. for your system to be balanced. Kind of like the at the beginning, the macro conversation, it's not just protein or just fat or just yes. carbohydrates. It's a combination. It's of much more complicated. Yeah. Our bodies are so much more amazing than that. There's yeah. so many things that go into every single mm. cellular function. And we need all of those for life to function the way it needs to. So the the argument of and and I mean this is kind of what we were talking about before we really got here but the argument of well I, I get it from my diet what like how how would you answer that question if somebody said to you well it, it, cool Lisa it's great a multivitamin but I get it from my diet I got plenty of veg, fruits and vegetables how do you respond so I think the first thing that I would say it goes back to the quality of the nutrients that you're getting. So mm -hmm. regardless of what you're getting as far as the sourcing of your um, fruits and vegetables, they're not going to be high enough in these nutrients to take care of all of your needs. The other thing that I would say is you're also human. <laughs> you're never going to be eat perfectly. You're never going to have time or money to eat perfectly. Yeah. There's going to be those times where you do something quick yeah. or you can't plan the way you would like to or afford what you need to. Yeah. And so you need something that fills in those gaps because life is life. Yeah, life happens. I mean, yeah. as much as we know about this, and I know the importance of it, I have three kids, I work a lot, I'm busy. Sometimes yeah. you don't always do everything you need to do. And we're not perfect. Yeah. Okay, well that, so, I think the need is there, right? The problem oh, yeah. is clear. Like we are deficient in micronutrients and it's something that we all need and we need for multiple reasons. Oh yeah. And we need to optimize just our cellular state and cellular function. Micronutrients are, are required. So the typical approach and, and the normal approach to micronutrient supplementation is kind of a, a, a one, a one, pill, one pill once a day and it takes care of all of the needs. But there's, we believe, and science has told us, the research tells us that there's a flaw to that approach. Exactly. And, yeah. that, and that's really where the Rise AM and Reset PM system come into play. But before we start to dive into those, like, just tell us a little bit about the flaw. Why is one pill once a day, which I think is actually somebody's tagline or really close to their tagline, why is that? Why the what? What? Why? Why is there a flaw in that approach? Yeah. What's, what's wrong? With I mean, it? I think we can first start with why do a lot of people do that? Why is there just one solution developed, one pill? Mm -hmm. I think it is convenience, mm -hmm. and people like to just take one and be done for the day. Yep. But what that doesn't account for is that different nutrients are needed at different times for different processes for our body. Essentially, our body have di has different needs throughout the entire day. And so it's not accounting for what we call circadian rhythms. And so really circadian rhythms are physical, emotional, mental, behavioral changes that are really linked to a 24 hour cycle. And they're heavily influenced by light. Lack of light or the presence of light that really tells your body, okay, this is when you're going to be awake. This is when you're gonna be resting. And so there's lots of different processes that go along with that digestion, repair, just getting the energy to wake up in the morning. Mm -hmm. All of that is linked to this 24 hour cycle that's then linked to light mm -hmm. or the lack of light. And so all of the nutrients that we have in our body play into these unique cycles that happen at different times throughout the day. So if we have a one and done solution, we're not providing the body with exactly what it needs at the right time. Another thing that people don't often consider is that certain nutrients can compete for absorption with one another. Okay. And so that's something you need to think of as you take them. If you are going to be taking nutrients, you want them to be in a form that your body can absorb and you want them to be in a format that you get the most bang for your buck. And so putting them all in one pill is not a guarantee that you're going to be getting the benefit from the nutrients that you are putting into your product and into your body. I think that concept of of systems in the body operate, and you know, I'm going to be kind of loose with this, but they they turn on and turn off in coordination with the rising and setting of the sun. 
That's really remarkable. And yes. just like it speaks to just how in, remarkable and incredible the human body is and, and, and in sync with just the ebbs and flow of, of, of the, e even the day. Yeah, and you can think about if you ever travel out of your normal time zone. Like I've traveled to Japan and Australia many times mm -hmm. and trying to get your body into normal rhythms <laughs> after that. I mean, Jesse will attest that I've popped on meetings at three in the morning, <laughs> Australian time, which is normal time here during business hours, because I'm wide awake and my body's like, this is the time that you should be yeah. like up and going. And it's very confused because your yeah. body has these natural rhythms that it becomes, that it's very reliant on. Yeah. And it's hard to change, it's hard to shift those. Or if you do shift work, like if you work yeah. in the evenings. Shift is hard. It's hard. And, and, and I think a lot of people are starting to see it more and more. And I think everybody that's watching this oh, is yeah. familiar with like just how screen and screen time is starting to affect yes. and impact those blue rhythms. Blue light and is very well known for disrupting the different genes. There's specific genes called clock genes that regulate your circadian rhythms. And it's pretty complex, but essentially they can be easily disrupted by blue light so that your body's like, wait, are we supposed to be awake now? Yeah. And so it doesn't know what processes should be going and which ones should not be going at a time. So you start getting a lot of mixed signaling. Yeah. But I think, okay, so, the, but the underlying message here and what we all need to understand is that there are systems in the body that, that, that need to operate and are designed to operate with the rising of the sun to mm -hmm. prepare the body for the day. Yes. Help wake the body up, help wake the mind up, get the body moving. Get digestion ready to go yeah. so you can eat. Yeah, it gets the body up and ready for the day. And then the, there are other systems that start to come into play and they're probably working throughout the entire day, but other systems that are preparing the body then for rest when, when recovery and all of that take place and are trying to quiet and slow the body down. So you've got natural systems that are waking the body up and natural systems that are that are shutting that or or shutting the body down if I can use that verbiage for sleep and back to what you said at the very beginning those systems rely on specific nutrients that aren't necessarily the same sometimes they are but aren't necessarily the same of what you need in the morning as you're waking up and what you're needing in the evening as you're going yes. to sleep yes which is why that one a day is it's not is the flawed. optimized solution yeah there's such a better way to do it. So we, we, we then developed, in conjunction with some researchers at the Linus Pauling Institute, what we call time-wise nutrient delivery. Yes. Maybe talk about that a little bit and what yeah. that means. So what time-wise nutrient delivery is, it is that you get the right nutrients in the right amounts at the right time. Mm -hmm. So the right nutrients, what your body needs at that time, the right amounts. We make sure that as we formulate the products, that you're getting what you need and not too much or too little. And then at the right time. So we know the different systems that happen in the morning and in the evening. What are the key drivers? What are the, those key helper molecules, nutrients that are needed to drive those reactions? Mm -hmm. And we want to make sure that we give them to you at the right time. The, the right amounts, that's an interesting one. And maybe you can talk about that a little bit because sometimes if we look at a label, especially the label of a, like a multivitamin, it's like a thousand RDA or, or, you know, like just these astronomical numbers, yes. a thousand percent of the recommended daily allowance. More is not always more. Okay. Yeah. But so why, like, okay, speak to that. Like more is not always better. And yet so many brands continue to do that. Yes, because your body can only absorb so much and the rest it's going to try to get rid of. Yeah. So with water-soluble vitamins, it's going to just try to excrete it through your body, through, mm. your, through your urine or through sweat. I mean, oil-soluble vitamins, if you take too much, it's actually going to accumulate because it's going to stay in your body. It doesn't have a quick way of just getting out. Exiting. And so your body is only going to use what's going to use. You can't overpower it with yeah. so many micronutrients yeah. that it's suddenly like a superhero. <laughs> it knows what it needs. Mm -hmm. And then when it gets too much, it's like, no, this is too much. And it just gets rid of it. Yeah. So we want to put the right amounts of the product so that your body gets what, you're, what it needs and doesn't have to go through these extra cleansing processes to get yeah. rid of these excess nutrients. The optimal amount. It, yeah, it's the know, optimal amount. Think about it that way. Yeah. Um, okay, so we set out with time-wise nutrient delivery. Um, and that kind of governs, that governed the design and development of the products themselves. And then we ended up with, with really, it, we, we think of it as one product or a system 
two separate formulas. Exactly. It's part one and part two okay. to get you through your day. Okay. So we have our AM and our PM that's split up according to that. And we, you mentioned a little bit earlier, but we really closely partnered with the Linus Pauling Institute, who are really leaders in mm -hmm. this field of micronutrients yeah. that really to really determine what are those right nutrients, what are those right amounts, and what's that right time. Yeah. Because we always want to partner with the leading experts. So talk a little bit about about the two different formulas, and, and we don't have to like go through every single uh, material that's included in each, but maybe just the standouts between AM, what we included in that formula for the more, I mean, AM, obviously AM and PM, I think everybody gets that. It's We're, we're coordinating those with the morning and the evening. Yeah. So what are some of the, the, the standout parts of the Rise AM formula? And why we included those, and then what? Are, and then on the opposite side, what are some of the ones that we included in PM, and why we yeah. included them there? So one of the key um, things that are involved in energy, energy metabolism are B vitamins, and so we included those in the AM because that's when your body is waking up and all the processes are getting started for the day. So put B, B vitamins in A in the AM formula. There are also you need calcium in your body for multiple systems but it can compete with magnesium. Okay. And so we decided to separate out those nutrients so that we could get the most bang for our buck for both of those. So mm -hmm. we put calcium in the AM because magnesium is known for its relaxation properties. So yep. it made more sense to put it in the PM, but okay. we separated those out. Copper and zinc also can interfere with each other's absorptions. And so we separated we put the copper more in the morning because it's also associated with those energy pathways and we moved the zinc into the evening because of that. So it was really looking about what nutrients are most optimized, like which, which pathway are they used the most in, and mm -hmm. a lot of it was energy pathways, and what might it compete with, and then separating those out into both the AM and PM so that we get the best from both nutrients. Okay. Anything else in the PM formula that maybe you want to call out? Let's see. I think even beyond just nutrients, we also included other herbal extracts in there. So we put in chamomile, passion flower, green tea, which is standardized to L-theanine, that are all known for those relaxing properties. So it's much more than just these micronutrients as well. We also included other benefits in there too. That would make sense in a PM formula to yeah. prepare you for all of your nightly functions. You know what I find so remarkable about this approach um, and just so interesting and it just it kind of reminds me just how remarkable and impressive the body and the various systems are and, and how they're how they are all related, truly related, is that there is nothing inherently in the Rise AM formula that is a you know, what we typically think of as like a stimulant to wake you up. And there's nothing inherent in the right reset PM formula that we think of when no. we think of like sleep, like there's no mel melatonin. melatonin or something like that. Yeah. And yet, because we're giving the right nutrients and the right amounts at the right time, that Rise AM has, you know, and, th and this is the feedback that we receive from, from a number of For consumers consumer trial. that are using it is that I woke up and I had more energy to go about the day. Exactly. Right? Or I, I felt more relaxed and able to fall asleep because yeah. I was able, it kind of fed into that evening routine. So yeah. you're able to wind down and be able to fall asleep naturally. Yeah. It's, and it's just, I mean, it's just, it just reminds me of just, again, how impressive the body is, but how remarkable that if you give it what it needs, the body naturally removes some of those barriers it optimizes the systems and it works the way it's intended to work. Exactly. Which is absolutely, absolutely incredible. Um, maybe another another thing that you could address that, that those that are watching or listening to this might, might have a question about is there are other products in our product line that have some of these nutrients, right? So, you know, Daily Wellness has some of the things that you've already listed out. Uh, Omega has a number of things. Like there's, there's these micronutrients. So... What if I'm using those already, and then I put AM and PM 
on top of those or I'm using yes. those in conjunction. Will do there need, be an overdose? Yeah, do I need of, to spread it out? Do I need to use them at different times? Will I, can I overdose on these? Yes, and that's the beauty of knowing our portfolio incredibly well and knowing that we had these wonderful formulas that people were already incorporating into their daily routine. So that was in mind as we were selecting those right amounts. Yeah. So that if you used all of those products together, you would still be in a healthy limit for each yeah. of those nutrients. So there's no risk. I mean, you could literally be taking every product in our line and there's not a risk of yes. overdosing. Yes. Okay. They're all designed to work together. So we could end there. That's really remarkable. And I think it gives a really good case and a really good example of why both why micronutrients are important and why our approach is both different and what we think uh, is a better approach. It's yeah. just a smarter, more intelligent approach, and it's one that that aligns with your body's natural functions. I know it's one of those things when you hear the approach, you're like, "Why it, are other people yeah, doing this? Sense. It just yeah. makes sense." Just makes sense, um, and and I really I really like that about it. Um, so we could end there, but there's there's a little bit more because we are the activation company, and we did some studies with Rise AM and Reset PM in conjunction with some of our key activators, uh, specifically the ProTandem line. Yes. Um, and it was really to prove to both ourselves and to others that one, you need the right nutrients for activation to yes. occur, but maybe talk a little bit about, about those studies, some of the things that we, that we saw. Yeah. So essentially what we wanted to look at is if we gave the cells, cause this was an in vitro study. So as a reminder, in vitro is performed in cell cultures. It's not in the human body, but it's these representative cell types. And essentially we wanted to see if we gave the correct micronutrients, would we see an impact on these pathways, on activation itself? And so the reason we chose Trisynergizer and looked at the individual products as well is that, I mean, we, they have fantastic science on them mm -hmm. and they were a good place to start. But yeah. this by no means limits any potential uh, pairings of our AM and PM product with other with activators. Other, other activators, okay. Yes, and this is just a good initial study to really show and demonstrate that synergy that happens with micronutrient, like a healthy mic micronutrient base and activation. Yeah. Do you have any of the, the, the studies with you? To yes. Talk, talk, yeah, do you want to talk about yeah, what definitely. we saw when we, like, So I'll give a AM, couple PM of very specific, and we'll include some graphs on the screen as we go along. One of the first things that we looked at was glutathione, which is one of the key antioxidants in the NERF2 pathway. Okay. And so we tried ProTandem NERF2 alone, which we already know activates this gene, activates mm -hmm. these antioxidants on its own significantly. This product works. Yeah. But then we added that AM and PM base in conjunction with NERF2, and we actually saw a 67% increase, so significant increase in yeah. the expression of glutathione above and beyond what uh, NERF2 what, was alone. Yeah, and I think that's what's important. So when we, we looked at NERF2 alone, we saw there was a, an increase in the, the expression of the, the, uh, glut, the, the gene that, yeah, glutathione. that produces glutathione. And then when we did the same test, but it was the key ingredients in NERF2 and AM, PM, it was a 67% increase above, above what NERF2 did on its own. Yes, which was incredible yeah. because the initial results with NERF2 that we've seen in multiple studies, I mean, we've looked at this product in over 30 independent studies, yeah. are remarkable. I mean, it's part of what drew me to this company was just how fantastic that product was to see something that enhanced the benefits even more on that specific pathway mm -hmm. was incredible. Yeah. And, and maybe to your point, so you, you've got similar information for how it related to Nerf one to- Yeah, and, dual synergizer, tri-synergizer, for example, for tri-synergizer, we saw an increase in one of the key, I believe it was in sirtuins mm -hmm. with the combination of AMPM with the tri-synergizer. So our Nerf two, Nerf one, and NAD pro tandem products. Mm -hmm. And we saw an incredible, significant increase in that production as well. Yep. So ultimately it was gene after gene that were key markers for these pathways were upregulated significantly on top of what were already amazing results with the products alone. And maybe maybe if you can just repeat what you said earlier. So we did all the studies, we did these studies in conjunction with the pro tandem line because yeah. they were some of our key activators, but we, even though we haven't done similar studies with say liquid collagen or activated collagen as, as we like to refer to it. Um, 
the, the, the natural conclusion that we can take from these other studies is that AMPM is going to positively impact the activation of yes. these different products as well. Very much so. Yeah. I think even just taking thinking of what we talked about two weeks ago, so our study on NERF2 and collagen, and then the beautiful synergy that we saw between those two products, mm -hmm. okay, think about if we give that solid micronutrient base, even just to, to NERF2, yep. and we elevate those results, think of the synergy yeah. then. Yeah. You know, we, we refer to these products as essential nutrients on the website. That's how we talk about them. But they're really, they are foundational to, yes. to our overall health, right? They're absolutely necessary um, and, and help fill those gaps that are missed in our, in our diet. Um, I, I, I love these products, actually. Yes. I, like I think they sometimes get left, in, left behind a little bit because there's the flashier ones. Yeah, yeah. But I think these are the solid ones that are necessary for the flashier ones to shine. Yeah, it, great. They're the, the, back, those, they're the background players doing the behind the scenes yeah. so that Protanum, Nerf 1, Nerf 2, NAD, collagen, collagen. all of these can shine yeah. and give you the best results. Yeah, and, and help those to perform even, even better. Yeah. Um, well, perfect. Um, what, uh, any, like, you know, you, these products existed as, uh, as you came in or they were launched shortly after, after you were here, like what, maybe a, a takeaway or kind of as you looked through the research, like an aha moment for you and maybe, maybe there wasn't one, but is there something that stands out that as we wrap this up that you would want to. Well, and I think the aha share? moment kind of goes back to what we've already talked about. It's one of those so simple that someone else should have thought of it before us, but I'm glad we thought of it, yeah. was just the splitting up of the nutrients and really paying attention to circadian rhythms. Yeah. Chronobiology, which is that study of circadian rhythms, is such a hot topic right now. And everyone's talking about it, but they're trying to go so flashy. Yeah. And they're not thinking back to the basics, the micronutrients, and yeah. how those are affected by it. And so that's what really wowed me, was that we were looking at chronobiology and circadian rhythms but at a very practical, basic level that then would influence everything else. It's yeah. such a simple yet brilliant approach to getting the most out of the nutrients that you're putting into your body. Yeah, and really aligns with what we are, what we are all about in optimizing the natural systems of the body and their natural functions. Yes. And, and these play a, a vital role in doing that and, and create that foundation for the rest of the products to really to use your words to really shine. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Uh, anything else? I think we've talked a lot. So I think <laughs> there's a lot of great information. I think, I hope that you come away from this seeing why you need to add this as the base of your regimen. And no matter what other activators you're using in our line, mm -hmm. like this needs to be your starting place. Yeah. That great point and great, great counsel that this needs to be the starting place. Well, Thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, Lisa, great explanations. Thanks for that. Um, always a wealth of knowledge and always well prepared with slides and notes. And thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, you guys. Uh, appreciate you being with us tonight. Hopefully this was beneficial and informative for you and, and uh, you were able to stay engaged. And uh, if you feel that this was uh, valuable, feel free to share this. You can share it straight here, right, right here from Facebook or you can jump on that YouTube page and share it from there as well. But please, please help share this information. And again, thank you for your comments. We're gonna jump in and we'll answer all of those. So thank you for that. And uh, we're gonna be here in two weeks. We do this every second and fourth Thursday of the month. So uh, we'll be here in, in two, uh, well, in two weeks. And we've got a great topic for you uh, at that time. So thanks for joining and have a wonderful evening. Good night. Well, thank you for joining us. And again, thank you to Lisa, who was part of this conversation earlier this evening. We really appreciate you being with us tonight. If you found value or if this was beneficial to you, we invite you to share this information with, with uh, friends, family, with anyone that you think would benefit from what we've shared tonight. My takeaway, what I, what I found most informational was just really how, how depleted our natural food source is of micronutrients and to optimize our health and our overall well-being, we need a stable and a clear foundation of micronutrients 
which can be provided and are provided with the Rise AM and Reset PM system. That, it, that, that lesson for me was most important, that if I'm going to maximize my body systems, if I'm going to maximize the activating products that we are known for and that, and that we all love and, and, and appreciate, we need to have a solid foundation of micronutrients which we get from Rise AM and Reset PM and that, that entire system. So I hope it was beneficial. Hope you enjoyed it. We're going to do this. We do this every two weeks. And I invite you to return and watch with us uh, every two weeks as we explore the products and, and what we have and what we provide here at LifeVantage. So again, thanks for joining us. And please share this with someone that would benefit from what we've, what we've provided tonight.